is the last time that I will ever be in this house. This is the house that Kayla Simone home built, but this is the house that built Kayla Simone home. Then we're going to go meet with our real estate agent and see potentially about building a new house. What? Like, there's our lot. Just dirt still. I can't even believe Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this standard tile and this. Here it to the channel. Hello Ginger. If you're new here, my name is Kayla Simone. I hope to be your new favorite homegirl. Welcome. Welcome back. It has been... Yes, hi. Just lay with me. Just lay with me. There we go. It has been a while since I have done a like sit down or just like a talk to the camera vlog. I think it's been since like Christmas. Yeah, like three months. Oh my gosh, sorry. It's just like blowing my mind because as I sat down here to start chatting with you guys, I'm like, when was the last time that I just like talked to camera? I don't know, it feels weird, but we're getting into it. So we have officially been in the new house for an entire month crazy and now it's somehow already the end of March and like I don't know how a whole month has gone by without me getting a chance to get on here and vlog so I definitely apologize for that because I really want to be a YouTube girly I want you guys to be able to like count on me I want you guys to be able to count on being able to come to YouTube and catch up with me every week multiple times a week hopefully if we get to that point um so yeah, it just always makes me feel like shit when I can't like stay on top of my posting schedule the way that I want to. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know a lot of the stuff that's been going on, but I do still have more to show you. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, I mean, all I can say at this point is why aren't you following me on Instagram? But <laughs> we've got a lot to catch up on over here in the YouTube world. Um, as you guys saw, this is, the start of a new series the moving home building series has come to a close since we are no longer moving or building a home we are living in the new home we are creating this home together and i'm really excited to bring you guys along that journey with me so what's been going on over the past month
You don't want the back of the couch on this side at all. I'm trying to avoid it, you know. I don't want to pretend this is like one piece too long right now. This side is? Mm -hmm. Really? Isn't that all the other Oh, well, I guess that's why, because it's not that's what I'm saying. squished in right now. And then you can put this piece on that side, take that piece out of the right there. So it's a little bit further out, but then... So we have two, like, the two chases, instead of using that ramp, that would be And now we're going to top this right now. Take it slow Just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Needed some time to grow Just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Ready to talk, baby Can be your rock, baby Please come and sit with me Or take a walk with me I need to speak to you Just wanna be with you let me take you for a ride. You can't tell if the issue is that the rug is too small. I love the fluffiness. I kind of like this under my feet and my makeup, but I think it's the fact that it looks messy and that also throws me off right now. Yeah, I would make any decision to like try to find it. But um, there's considerably more on this side. such a freaking whirlwind of moving I was fighting for my life there is so much stuff all over the house I cannot function right now but moving has been going well aside from the fact that like having boxes all over the house and things just kind of like strewn everywhere is wreaking absolute havoc on my mental health um, but moving itself is going really well. We have, I'd say like 95% of our stuff over here at the new house. The biggest thing that we're really struggling with right now is the fact that in our old house, not everything had a very specific place and a lot of those places were built in. So now that we don't have any built-ins, we don't have the entire like custom closet that I designed for the last house. We just have a lot of stuff that has nowhere to go. We have nothing to put it in. And Ira and I are not the type of people who thrive in chaos like that. So it just feels like we've been walking around the house for the past couple of days, like touch a little bit here, but then we're like, oh, but I can't really finish unpacking this box because it's not nowhere to go. So then we touch a little bit over here and then we run into the same issue. So we're just kind of like, ah! like, what do we do? <laughs> How do we get past this point? But without places to put things it's just like kind of complicated so i just don't want to like 
push myself of like, I need to get these things done. I need to hurry up and get this thing installed. I need to start on this project because it's just not going to be good in the long run and it's not going to make for a good experience. And I just really want to like move in and like enjoy this house, even in this time of like chaos. I guess I still want to be able to enjoy the house. That's why I'm kind of just like actively taking a step back from posting reels, from making reels, from posting as many videos on YouTube. Um, yeah, we just, we've got a lot going on. Moving is a lot. Anybody that's ever moved knows moving is a lot. And I just really don't want to overwhelm myself and kind of like start off on the wrong foot in this house you know I'm trying to trying to do things differently i'm trying not to run myself ragged all the time like i normally do so yeah that's what's up here Try to solve it, solve it, yeah. Me and you, what we do, it stays between me and you, me and you, what we do, it stays between me and you. So that's what I've been working on for, I'd say the past, I mean, I guess really the past month that we've been here, like I said, I pretty much came in and I hit the ground running. So 
I got the fridge installed. We've got cabinet handles now. So excited about that because one thing about me, I do not like people's grimy fingers touching my cabinet doors. It just, ooh, like it gives me the ick. It's like a little bit of a pet peeve. So I'm really glad that we got the cabinet hardware installed. I'm working on organizing all of our kitchen drawers. I'm excited to be able to get to a point with the kitchen where I can give you guys a little kitchen tour, not necessarily after the project's done, although I will do one after the project's done, but really just once I get the organization to a good place, I will give you guys a tour just of my kitchen organization because I'm really proud of the way that I've been prioritizing organizing just as much as I've been prioritizing like design and making it pretty because Ira and I both really function well in a truly organized space and I did not do enough organizing in the last house. So I'm really excited about that. So let me take you guys through the kitchen as it stands right now. Haven't even cleaned it up. So what y'all are about to see is the real real. And I wanna show you guys what's kinda to come, what design elements I'm thinking about adding. And I have a few questions for you guys and I wanna get your opinion on some things. Okay, so here's how the kitchen is looking. I do have a couple more like organizers that I need to install in the cabinets but ignoring that here is what is coming up for the kitchen so I want to add an additional row of cabinets up at the top this space right here it like it irks me every single day it's such a giant space it's like begging for cabinets um surprisingly our builder didn't even offer cabinets as an option because we have this sloped ceiling over here and they would have no way to put the cabinets over here. I don't know why they wouldn't just let us put them on one wall. I wouldn't have done it anyway, but um, I am planning on custom building some cabinets that are gonna go over on this side. I also have to replace this cabinet here. You can see that it's like a normal 12 inch cabinet and it actually should be a like 24 inch cabinet so that it matches the refrigerator. Cause this is just like, tacky and unusable. So I want to replace this vent insert um, and remove the cabinet up here and do a white oak looking vent up top, like a vent hood with a vent hood insert to where you, like there's no silver showing or anything. It'll just be like wood. I'm going to definitely replace the backsplash, which is why we did not upgrade that through the builder. I'm going to do tile that matches our countertop. The builder was going to charge us $6,000 to get this countertop material as the backsplash. And while that is the look that I love, that is not the price that I love. And there was no way, no way on this earth that we were gonna pay that. So I found a tile that looks similar to this, but it's out of stock right now. So hopefully it comes back in stock soon. Eventually I would love to replace the appliances um, just cause we had these appliances in our last house and aren't really super happy with them. They're just like baseline Whirlpool models. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to cover this like silver part on here with either white spray paint or possibly trying to do like a vinyl wrap, like what they wrap cars with to make it white so that it just blends in with the cabinet more. We need to install pendants over the island down here underneath the island we do not have like a double depth island like we used to it's just normal depth so i don't have space to like add any cabinets or anything under here but what i do want to do is add some like white oak wood paneling so that it matches the vent hood here so that i have kind of the same look that you guys have seen at my last house where those two elements match. And I think that white oak will look really nice. It'll make the kitchen look a little bit more modern. It's just too white right now. Like, I love the white cabinets, but I can't leave it like this. There's just too much white. The thing that I kind of wanted y'all's opinion on, so keeping in mind that the cabinets are white, this vent hood is going to be wood. What should I do with this side of the island? Now, I was originally planning on keeping this side of the island white, which is why we paid to upgrade it to white. I am going to replace this dishwasher, hopefully soon, because this one is not great. Um, again, cheap builder grade stuff. 
So I'm hoping to replace this one pretty soon with a panel ready dishwasher. So that I will put fake drawer fronts on so that it blends in with the cabinets. And I'm going to do the same thing over here where our trash cans are. I will put two fake drawer fronts here so that it looks like another stack of three drawers. And then here I will just like put the two doors back on there that belong there. I hate the white though. I don't like being able to see this part of the wing wall. So like this needs to be built out better so that you don't have molding and textured drywall happening. It just looks stupid. And I just don't really like the white. It looks kind of cheap. And maybe it's because I've got a cheap dishwasher next to it, but it looks kind of cheap. So two options. Number one, I could just paint it black. I could just fix that trim you know, add the drawer fronts that I need to add and then just paint it black. And then it just kind of like blends in with the island. The sink is black, you know, it works. Now option number two is to order new drawer fronts and doors for the whole thing and just go ahead and order them from a company and get those in white oak to match the vent hood and the opposite side of the island. Okay, so again, didn't clean up. This is how the room is right now. Um, this is our primary bedroom, and this is gonna be the second project that I'm working on because this room is way overdue for a makeover. I was actually in the middle of planning out what I wanted our primary bedroom to look like in our last house, and then we decided that, you know what, instead we're just gonna move. <laughs> so that's why I really want to like take some time and focus on what I want this room to be because we've never had a cute looking primary bedroom. So this giant box here is actually our new bed frame, the one that I bought for the last house and then just never ended up opening it. So this bed, if I remember correctly, has a headboard that's actually supposed to go, if not wall to wall, almost wall to wall. The only thing that I'm like concerned about is like, is it gonna be too low to the ground? So like, I'm a little nervous to like get that box open and see how it all looks together. I did order these chairs when we were still in the last house. You guys saw me put these in my office. These were actually always meant to go right in this spot in our bedroom, however, I don't really like how everything is coming together. Like this rug, which I love the rug. It's from Angela Rose's collection with Laloy. They sent this to me, so thank you, Laloy and Angela. Um, I love the rug, but I'm not loving how the room is coming together visually. I don't like how kind of like shaggy it is. It's just a little bit too messy looking for me. I think I want something that's plush but with a lower pile i'm not sure if i'm sold on the color of these chairs in here for the direction that i want to go with the room although i don't exactly know what direction that is but i'm just i don't know i'm not like 100 percent sold on these chairs I definitely 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 need new nightstands because these are so like why is it doing that like it's not supposed to do that and I don't like the open area underneath because it just ends up getting junky and messy. More so over on Ira's side. Not so much on my side. But we need something that's like solid wood, soft closed drawers, like substantial, good storage. This side of the room, I've got two Malm dressers here because we don't have enough space in our closet. But eventually I want to do like Pax wardrobes here so that I can have a place to store all of my shoes, which are currently in bins in our guest room. So this side of the room, not really gonna worry too much about right now because I can't do much with it until I get our closet built out. But I am really going to be focusing on this side over here. Oh yeah, and we're gonna be changing out that fan for sure. So the room right now is kind of what I would consider a blank slate. Even though we've got stuff in there, I'm not 100% tied to any of it. Girl, I'm quick to sell something on Facebook Marketplace. If it's not working for me, gone, gone. It's out of this house. I don't even wanna look at it anymore. So since I'm not really tied to anything that's in there, who knows You know what the design will end up being. 
I don't know why I have such a hard time designing our primary bedroom. I've seen so much inspiration. I have so many ideas of things that I would like, but for whatever reason, trying to get it all to come together and like come to fruition has just not been working well for me when I try to design the room. I, in my design process, I really like to just go ahead and design the whole room all at once. And I usually just like dive right into doing the 3D rendering of it so that I can play with it in real time and see what changes are looking like. But for whatever reason, doing that for our primary bedroom has just not worked that well for me. It didn't really work that well in the last house and it's not really working that well in this house. So rather than try to design the whole room at once, I'm going to try doing it the complete opposite way and just go piece by piece, which is scary to me because I'm like, how can you buy pieces when you don't know what the end result is supposed to look like? But I know that lots of people design rooms that way. So I'm going to kind of push myself out of my comfort zone in terms of how I think about designing our bedroom. And I'm hoping that maybe that allows me to unlock some creativity or something and come up with a design that really speaks to what Ira and I want for the room, which is just luxe, high-end hotel. And right now, we lay in that bed and just kind of like watch the TV like this because we don't want to see anything in the room because it just looks so disheveled and like not even put together. So that will kind of be like my background project so to speak since i'm going to be doing it little by little piece by piece that project probably won't get as much screen time as the kitchen because things are going to be happening at a much slower pace so that's what's been up with me i got you guys caught up on life and life in the new house um project updates i can't really think of anything else that i have to share um let me know in the comments what project you guys are most excited to see I think out of the kitchen, which don't let my little like, oh, I'm gonna do this, 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 don't let me downplay it for y'all. This is gonna be a big project and it's gonna take some time to get done, but it's gonna look so good at the end. And I think the thing that I'm most excited about is probably the backsplash because it's right there in all of our like line of sight. And I think that just having a nicer backsplash is really gonna change the look of the kitchen in a way that I don't think anything else will like really have that same impact. Except maybe the cabinets, maybe adding the second row of cabinets. I don't know, I'm torn between the two. You guys let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is, what you're most excited about. I can't wait to read all of them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. I'm waiting. Thank you. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.